The fifth angel sounded his trumpet, and I saw a star that had fallen from the sky to the earth. The star was given the key to the shaft of the abyss. When he opened the abyss, smoke rose from it like the smoke from a gigantic furnace. The sun and sky were darkened by the smoke from the abyss. And out of the smoke, locusts came down on the earth and were given power like that of scorpions of the earth. They were told not to harm the grass of the earth or any plant or tree, but only those people who did not have the seal of God on their foreheads. They were not allowed to kill them, but only to torture them for five months. And the agony they suffered was like that of the sting of a scorpion when it strikes. During those days, people will seek death, but will not find it. They will long to die, but death will elude them. Revelation 9, verse 1 through 6. This is the scariest part of the prophecy. The abyss of hell and death is opened up to those who are left behind. The stench of sulphur and decay billowed out, choking the air. From the abyss, a sound like the beating of monstrous wings. A cloud of darkness, swirling and shifting, began to rise. Within the cloud, eyes glinted, red and malevolent. Shapes writhed, monstrous and obscene. Their faces, grotesquely human, were twisted into expressions of pure malice. Men and women thrashed in the grip of unbearable pain, their screams echoing through the twilight. The scariest thing is there is nowhere to hide. In the past, suicide has been an option for those who choose to bail out from this existence. But this time, suicide will not be an option. They may attempt suicide, but death will escape them for five months. Revelation 9 verse 6. In the next video, we will escape of the horrors of unquenchable suffering and blow the sixth trumpet.